Leon. Well, it's a bit early. He just hasn't started shift yet. I wanted to see him before it got busy. And give him his Christmas present? Yeah. <laughs> he was so busy before Christmas, I just didn't get a chance. Are you all right? I hope he likes it. So, what did you get him in the end? An aromatherapy set. Oh! <laughs> An aromatherapy set? It is one for men, Tom. <laughs> Australian men? Do you think it's a mistake? Oh, take no notice of him. Not all men think a disinfectant hand wash is an aphrodisiac, you know, Tom. Oh, if you say so. So what time are you meeting your friend? I said around eight. She's not the best timekeeper. Maybe not, but she still found a job, which is more than I have. I wanted to let me in on the secret. You did give her the right directions. Of course I did. She'll be here soon. We just need to keep an eye out for her. Yeah, it is getting a bit busier. That's not her there, is it? Who? The girl at the bar. She looks like she's waiting for someone. I wouldn't keep her waiting. (sighs) Put your tongue back in your mouth, Tom. No, Helen, when my friends come out for the evening, they usually remember to put their skirts on. (laughs) (laughs) My hair's a big shawl. Pity you couldn't persuade Jatha to come out with us. She might have cured him. She does look like his type. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's mooning around after this mystery woman, isn't he? Not such a mystery now. Brenda? (sighs) You know who she is? Yeah, um, he told Tom. In confidence. And then you told me in confidence, and now I'm telling Helen in confidence. I won't breathe a word to a soul. You can breathe words to as many souls as you like, as long as one of them's not Annette. I wouldn't dream of telling her after what she went through with Jazza. Anyway, I hardly ever see her these days. She's out all the time. Is she seeing someone new? Yeah, I think she might be. Dread to think who if she can't tell me about him. Yeah, she's not the kind of girl to keep good news to herself. Mm, That's why I thought it might be Jazza again. No, no. His heart is another's. But whose? Oh, come on, Tom. It's not as if it reflects badly on him. In fact, it's quite sweet. Not anything that would raise my opinion of Jasper. Oh, all right. He's got a thing for Fallon. Fallon? I don't think he's got much chance there. I know. That's what makes it so sad. I don't see why not. I mean, they're great mates, and he's a good-looking lad. Yeah, but he's Jazza, Tom. Exactly. She's way out of his league. Oh, I think you're both being very unfair. I just don't want you giving him any false hopes. Look, Tom, I sympathise. I really do. It's not as if my love life has been a roaring success. Oh, you're not doing so badly now. But Jazza and Fallon, it's just not going to happen. Quiet in here the night, isn't it? Yeah, thank goodness. Could do with the rest. Hmm. Christmas went well for you, though, eh, Hen? Oh, yeah, it was a laugh. You and your dad seem to get on like a house on fire. <laughs> yeah, he really came up trumps. You made a good team. Yeah, we did. I really enjoyed it, getting all organised with him and, and then the pace of it. I was really proud of the food. People seem to really appreciate it. I'll say. I'm still raving about that brandy butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry your Christmas didn't work out so well. Ah, it's a family tradition. Mm. If there isn't any one punch up, I think I've came to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, no big on Christmas, as Scots. Save it off for Hogmanay. Right. So you got a big party planned, have you? Nah. I thought I'd just come here. Oh, Chesser. Well, it's usually a good night. Well, we try, but. Hey, you going to invite the lady? Nah. Well, why not? It's all over. Oh no. Did she turn you down? <laughs> Never gave her the chance. Could see it was a lost cause. Well, don't say that. Faint heart never won fair lady, you know. I know she's way too good for me. Oh, Jazza. Fleurs, romance. Who was that kidding? It's just no my thing. Well, it could be. I don't think so. I'll stick to beer and football. They never let you down. Mum seems quite optimistic about the prospects for the community shop. Mmm. Tom said there had been a good take-up of the questionnaires. Yeah. Did you know she was giving them to Graham to look through? That's a good idea. Oh, poor Peggy. She must have found Christmas hard. I think she was quite impressed by what they did at the Laurels. And the family rallied round. Of course. In some ways, this week will be harder. Yeah. It's their wedding anniversary on Friday. Is it? Oh, dear. Yeah, that's why we're all trying to find ways to keep her busy. That was the point of the questionnaires. Yeah. And it'll make her feel that she's still in the loop, as far as the shop's concerned. Mum genuinely did need someone to collate them. The steering group's meeting on Wednesday, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Susan and I have been doing a bit of bonding over the shop. That's a charitable way to look at it. (laughs) Oh, yeah? 
She says if I see any jobs that I'm too well qualified for, can I point them out to her? Uh, I see. Tactful as ever. I'm sure she meant well. And didn't have the heart to tell her that, frankly, I was prepared to go for anything. Oh, look who's here. Hi, Ian. Tom, don't do that. Why not? You might come over. <laughs> yeah, that was the idea. Well, Adam's busy lambing. He'll probably be glad of a bit of company. Not mine. You go over and talk to him if you want to. Good idea. Then when Jane comes, I can pick her brains in peace. What, have you two fallen out or something? He doesn't have a very high opinion of Leon. Does that matter? Of course it does, Tom. It makes it awkward. Oh, I don't see why. Lots of my mates can't stand Brenda. Oh, thanks. You do so much for my <laughs> self-esteem. I was joking. Ah, uh, look. Problem solved. Leon's just coming to the bar. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. So you can go and give him his present. What? I can't see through this crush. Yeah, look. I can go and talk to Ian and... Uh, Oh my god. What? what on earth does he think he's doing? I think that's pretty obvious. He's, he's kissing her. That girl with, with no skirt. Okay, uh, maybe she's one of those old friends from Australia he said he was going to see. Old and very close. Oh, Tom, don't. H- Helen, where are you going? To find out what's going on. I don't believe it. Oh. something like this. He was so nice. Looks like Ian might have a point. (laughs) Would you mind putting my boyfriend down? What? Why don't you go and fix a lip gloss, sweetie? I'll sort this out. There's a good girl. Alright. Go on then. Sort it out. What do you want me to say? Uh, I'd like you to tell me what the hell you think you're doing. I should have thought that was obvious. Having a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Yes. Like you and me have been having. Like we've been... Uh, is that all it was to you? I don't know why you're acting so surprised. I find you with your tongue halfway down the throat of some tart. She's a very nice girl. And you don't know why I'm surprised. I never said we were exclusive. Oh no, not in so many words. Not in any words. You made me think... You thought what you wanted to. You must have known it wasn't my style. I like a good time. Well, yes, but... I, I fr- Which is what we were having, weren't we? Until you started getting all serious on me. <sighs> How did I? Oh, come on. Christmas Day with the folks. I left Australia to escape that. So that's why... That's why you've taken up with... with her. I wouldn't say that exactly. You dumped me for her just because I asked you to spend Christmas with me and my family. I less of the big drama. I haven't dumped you for her. Me and Leanne... It's been going on for a while. Yeah. Yeah, of course it has. All those texts, phone calls, the messages... And I haven't dumped you. The swapped shifts. Oh, what an idiot but I've been. maybe it's time to cool things a bit, Yeah. Look at the guts to turn me to my face, not let me find out like this. Tell you what, I don't want to finish with you. What? We've had some good times, we can have some more. If you could just relax a little. And not mind you just seeing other women. I don't care if you see other guys. It might do you some good. I'm sorry. Why not? We're young, we're free, we're single. <gasps> single? I'm having fun while it lasts. You should try it sometime. Oh, should I? Yes. If you got over your hang-ups, you could be quite a... Oh, well, I suppose that's another one of your girls. Oh, probably. What can I tell you? I'm a cute Aussie. Bees, honey pop, lots of pretty girls in England. Well, if there's one I can save from a fate worse than death, then. Oh, what the hell do you do that for? I've done you a favour, Leon. You use that thing way too much. Think of the money you'll save. You didn't need to go and... No, p- and I didn't need to buy you a Christmas present either, did I? But you might as well have it. Oh, come on now, Helen. People are starting to... There. Now that you can use. Because you stink. He's still here. Nowhere else to be. <laughs> well, you could move around the pub a bit for a change of scene. I like sitting at the bar. Shortens the time between ordering a pint and drinking it. There's no one much to talk to, not tonight. There's you. When I'm not serving. Oh, you're not busy. Well, yeah, you must be sick of talking to me, though. No, I'm no. Oh, you could go and talk to Annette. She's on her own. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea. You mustn't let this woman put you off all women, you know. She hasn't. <laughs> she didn't put me off a net either. She's done a good enough job without herself. Don't get all cynical and bitter again. I'm sorry things didn't work out this time. So am I. There's no need to go back to your old ways. You just need to keep trying. Nah. Uh, I'm not cut out for this love stuff. Bitter and cynical. That's the real me. Then what time is it now? 
five minutes later than it was the last time you asked me? Oh. She's been in the ladies an awfully long time. Come on, are you surprised? Do you think I should go in and find her? No, no, I told you. Give her time to recover. I just can't believe it, Tom. I know. Did you see what she did? What, the phone? Yeah. That is Helen in a seriously bad way. I'm not surprised. She must be so upset. Yeah, and she'll want to deal with it on her own. Trust me, I know Helen. I just wish there was something we could do. Well, there was, but you stopped me doing it. And how was punching Leon on the nose going to help? It would have made me feel better. Anyway, you can stop worrying, because here she comes. Oh, Helen, are you OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You were such a long time. I was talking to Leanne. Leanne? The new addition to the big man's harem. Well, why on earth would you want to do that? I thought I should warn her, let her know what kind of man he is. But she didn't want to know. She knew already. She didn't care. Oh, Helen, well, at least you tried. Should have saved my breath. She didn't want to hear my weird ideas about fidelity and, and trust. She's having fun, and that's all that matters, apparently. I don't know how he can treat you like this. I am as shocked as you are. He had us all fooled, didn't he? He certainly did. Except Ian. Oh, I wish he hadn't been here. He was really upset for you. Was he? Didn't think it served me right for not listening to him and being so horrible about it. No, of course not. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to face him. Is he still here? No, he had to go. He said he'd be in touch. Not to gloat. No. He wouldn't do that. I wouldn't blame him. But I'm going to. We'll, we'll, we'll come with you. No, don't be silly. We're meeting a friend. I can text her. She'll understand. No, you stay, Brad. I'll take her home. OK. No need. I don't want to spoil everyone else's evening. You won't be. It's very sweet of you, Tom, but right now... Just rather be alone. There. Yeah. What do you think? It's um. Well, it's uh, it's it's very striking. Oh, well, isn't that a good thing? You're a great one for bold colours. Well, I am. But um, I thought your style was more understated elegance. Oh, get a bit tired of that. And if you can't stand out at a New Year's Eve ball, <laughs> when can you? True, but uh, there are ways and ways. Oh, you know what it's like at Lower Loxley. Half the county will be there. You mean Mandy Beesborough and that sweet woman will be? Uh, probably. Well, you don't have to descend to their level to make an impression. Why don't you, um, why don't you try that blue one? Uh, uh, all right. Well... You could buy something nice, too, to wear next time you visit Matt. Uh, he doesn't like me dressing up, says it makes a show. Oh, that's a pity. Might cheer him up. I don't think it'd cheer him up if I walked in stark naked. <laughs> Might do a lot for the others there, though. <laughs> I know you were upset when he rang on Christmas Day. Oh, it was just so wrong, Jenny, as not being together. Well, you did see him on Boxing Day. This needs hooking up at the back. Oh, there's a the trouble with these strapless ones here. Yeah. Oh, he made an effort, bless him. Tell me all about working in the prison greenhouses. There you are. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, does he like it? Apparently. So that's something, I suppose. Oh, that's better. Oh, I love these jewel colours. I just wish... What? That... He could open up to me. You know, everything he says, it's all on the surface. Oh, that's going to take time. Just so depressing, Jenny. Not experience. I mean, I had to give his Christmas presents to the guards, for God's sake. I know. Must be horrible for you. I do my best, but it's so hard to keep the conversation going. Yeah, I can imagine. I run out of things to say. Would it help? I mean, you know I'd be very happy to come and visit with you if you wanted. Jenny. Would you? Well, of course. And that might help keep the conversation going. Oh, I'm sure it would. And it would show Matt you're not the only one who's supporting him. Oh, yes. That'd be great, Jenny. Thanks. Oh, it's fine. I just said something before, but I wasn't sure if that was what you wanted. Oh, it is, darling. It really is. I'll speak to Matt about getting you a visiting order next time he phones. Good. Now, now what do you really think? This is the one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is.
What about this one? Oh, Mum, I'm not 12, you know. I don't know why you wanted me to come with you. You don't like anything oh, I choose. I don't know why I bothered to come at all. <laughs> I thought you wanted some clothes. I don't know why. <laughs> Never go anywhere. Yes, you do. Always out with Jonathan and young farmers. I wouldn't call that going out. Look, Pip, there's a lot of other things I could be doing. Yeah, well, me too. This is just a waste of time. It certainly is while you're in this mood. I'm not in a mood. I'm just... Oh, great, look. Don't tell me you've seen something you like. No, look, there's Izzy. Izzy! Izzy! Thank God. Why don't you get her to help you find something? I'll be in the coffee shop. Hi, Annette. Oh, hi, Helen. Susan said I'd find you in here. Oh, I've got new stock coming in tomorrow. Susan wanted me to clear some space. <laughs> Gives me all the good jobs. And you're doing sterling work. <sighs> you're home early? Yeah. Uh, aren't you feeling well? I thought you were a bit quiet at breakfast. No, no, I'm fine. Look, are you going out this evening? Oh, I hadn't really decided yet. Uh, well, why? Is Leon coming over? No. Oh, right. I, I just thought you might have wanted this flat to yourselves. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, Okay. Look, I thought it'd be nice if we could have a night in together. It would. Listen, Helen, is something up? Good. You get the stockroom sorted and I'll get supper on. Oh, hello, Ruth. Do you mind if we join you? Of course not. Hi, Lillian. Hi. I'll, I'll just put this down. So, what brings you to the sales, then? Pip, unfortunately. Here's your tea, Jenny. Oh, thanks. Oh, dear. Teenage tantrums. Oh, we should never come shopping together. I don't know why I agreed to it. Oh, yes, it can be fought. I had a terrible row with Kate in the middle of a shoe shop once because she claimed I said her legs were too fat for the boots. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything you say is wrong. Sometimes mm. I'm very glad I had a son. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. We got Josh a DV camera for Christmas. Oh, was he thrilled? Oh, yeah. But now he's filming everything we do. It's like being in the Big Brother house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elizabeth says you're going to the Lower Loxley Ball, Jennifer. Oh, yes. And now she's got a new dress. In the sales? <laughs> or was it reduced much? Jennifer, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be pretty, then. Oh, it is. It's a sort of sapphire blue, and it's sleek and strapless. Mm, sounds wonderful. Oh, it is. <laughs> well, it will be, because all I need now is a pretty pashmina and some shoes and a bag. Steady on. I'd like to get home before midnight. <laughs> I need to be getting back. David's out this evening. Maybe I should give Pip a ring. Oh, no need. She's coming. Look. Oh, I hope she's in a better mood. Mum, here you are. Hi. I've been looking for you everywhere. Izzy and her mates are going out for a pizza. Would it be all right if I went with them? Hi, Annette. I poured us both a drink. All right. Uh, are we going to need it? It seems like you do. You don't look very relaxed. I'm, I'm just sensing a bit of an atmosphere. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. No, you're not. It's about Leon. Yes. We've split up. Oh, uh, no. Why? Well, I know it's a shock, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. And you liked him so much. Oh, I wouldn't say that. It certainly was a shock to me. Why? What happened? Oh, what always happens. He was seeing someone else. Are you sure? Who? Oh, I'm sure. He kissed her. In the bar in front of everyone. <gasps> and, and he knew you were there? Oh, the bastard! Didn't even care. Told me I should just be a bit more relaxed about it. Unbelievable! Why, why didn't you tell me straight away? Oh, so humiliating. I didn't want to talk about it, and then I knew you really liked him, so... No! How could I like someone who would behave like that? It was dreadful. Oh, everyone saw it. Tom, Brenda, Ian... Ian? What was he doing there? He'd just come out for a drink of all the bars. He tried to warn me, you know. About Leon, did he? Yeah. I was so horrible to him. Oh, I'm sure he'll forgive you. But that's what friends do. Oh, I should have listened to him. Oh, Annette, how could I have been so wrong about Leon? <sighs> he had us all fooled. I've been such an idiot. Hi, Pet. I didn't expect you back so early. One of his friends gave me a lift back. Where's Dad? 
Ah, gone for a drink with some of his NFU mates. That was nice of her. Well, the rest of them were going on to an under 18s club night and, well, she didn't fancy it. Didn't you? You could have gone. Just texted me. <laughs> Dressed like this? No, Mum, I don't think so. Anyway, I didn't have enough money with me. Oh, well, another time, maybe. I hope so. You had a good time at the pizza place, though? Oh, yeah, it was great. I really like Izzy's mates. Are these her new friends from the supermarket? Yeah, well, a lot of people our age work there. They have a great laugh. <laughs> when they're not stacking shelves. They get paid for it, Mum. Not very much, I don't suppose. Not now. But there are opportunities in the future. At least they've started their lives. Oh, I'm glad you like them. It'd be a shame if you lost touch with Izzy. Yeah, it would. Maybe you can see them again. Or when your exams are over. Or before. I know you've been working hard, but they are quite soon. If I do them... What do you mean? Of course you're going to do them. Not necessarily. Not if I don't go back to college. <laughs> I can't believe you dropped his mobile into that girl's drink. <laughs> I can't believe it myself. Oh, it's the kind of thing you only think of doing afterwards. But him getting that call, it was the last straw. All those texts and calls he used to take when we were out together. I mean, right in front of me. Yeah, I remember. Of course they were from other girls. Why couldn't I see it? I was so blind. No, you were just too good for him. Along with the rest of the female population. It was very kind of you to say that. It's not kind, it's true. We were all taken in by him. I certainly was. Except to Ian. Oh, I don't suppose Leon bothered to try and charm him. Oh, I should have listened to him. Why? What Ian saw, you didn't. Leon was a different person with you. He certainly was. I didn't make it all up, did I? And he was keen on me once. Of course he was. Still is from the sound of it. Trouble is he's keen on everyone else too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anything female with a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Annette, I feel so much better since I told you. I'm glad. You're a good friend. <laughs> Call this being a good friend? I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I know you were a bit worried about these exams to begin with. I've told you a million times. This is not about the exams. I can pass them, do well even. Then I don't understand. Because you haven't been listening properly, just interrupting and getting in a state. It's just such a, such a shock. So out of the blue. Not to me. I've been thinking about this all over Christmas. Well, why didn't you say anything? Because look what happens when I do. All right. I'm sorry. Explain it to me. I won't interrupt, I promise. <sighs> Meeting Izzy and her friends, it just showed me how right I was. Why? I know you liked them, She's but... having such a good time. She's got friends she likes, money to spend, no worries about exams. But Pip... <sighs> Sorry, go on. She's making her life work. She doesn't need A-levels to do that, so why should I? Think how upset you were when Izzy decided not to go on to college. You thought she was throwing her life away. Well, I was wrong. Were you? Maybe Izzy's enjoying herself now, but she'll want something more. And how is she going to get it? That's where I'm so lucky. I know what I want to do now. I want to work on the farm with you and Dad. I don't need qualifications for that. Your father went to agricultural college. I did too. Exactly. And... So you can teach me all I need to know. <sighs> oh, Pip, it's not as simple as that. Yes, it is. Izzy's getting on with her life and I want to get on with mine. But you are. No, I'm not. I'm going to waste two years at college. It's not a waste. Then you can go on to you. I have wasted and... another three years and then come back here to work on the farm, which I could do tomorrow. <sighs> Where is the point in that? Oh, Pip... I don't know where to start. Then don't. Look, you shouldn't worry. I've thought it all through. It'll work. I am not going back to college. Oh, hello, Mum. Lillian, I thought you'd have gone. I was just getting myself together. Is there a problem? thought you were helping Jack with his breakfast. I was, but I think I was distracting him. I told the nurse I'd wait here until he'd finished. Well, look, I'll wait with you. No, you don't have to. No, I want to. I, um, I'll come in with you if you like. Oh, that's kind, but there's really no point. 
Having more than one visitor seems to confuse him. Yeah, I know. Just thought it would be company for you. I should be grateful he knows who I am. Most of the time. <laughs> well, at least you stopped asking for Valerie. Yes. He hasn't mentioned her for a long time. I should think not. Can't see her being such a devoted visitor as you are. Sometimes he doesn't speak at all, even to me. I know that's hard for you. I don't mind. It's very peaceful. I like to think he's in a happy place in his mind. Mm. He may be, but isn't it rather dull for you? Oh, I bring things to occupy myself. I got Pat's questionnaires today. What? The community shop ones? Mm. She asked me if I could collate them for her. Are you all right with that? Uh, doing the questionnaires, I mean. Oh, yes. The steering group is meeting tomorrow. I need to get on. Yeah, it's, not, it's not what I meant, Mum. I, I, I thought the whole idea of you selling the shop was to stop you worrying about it. How can I stop until things are sorted out properly? Uh, Pat seems quite sure there's a lot of support for her idea. Oh, I hope she's right. Well, if looking at these questionnaires will stop you worrying... It will. I'm very interested to see what people have said. Mm. I could be getting on with it now. You go, dear. There's really no point in you wasting any more of your morning. Oh, if you're sure. I am. I've got quite enough to keep me busy till Jack's finished breakfast. All right, but uh, I'll be back for you later. Yeah, ring me back then. I'll be here. Oh, hey, Pet. You're up then. Yeah. Shouldn't have let me sleep so long. Well, we did have quite a late night. Not as late as Dad. What time did he get back? About half twelve. <laughs> Bad Dad. But you know what his mates are like when they start putting the world to rights. So, did you tell him? Tell him what? Mum, about me leaving college. No. Why not? It was so late when he got back, and then he had to get up early, But so... this is important. Exactly. There's a lot to talk about. No, there isn't. You didn't tell him because you don't think I mean it. That's not true. I know you do. Look, but... I'm not going to change my mind. Where is Dad this morning? Seen to the use, I think. OK. Pip, you're not going to tell him now, are you? Why not? The sooner the better. No, leave it to me. Look, I can just mention it casually as something you're thinking about. I'm not just thinking about it. I'm going to do it. And I don't want it just mentioned. It's a fact. It might be easier for your dad to get I used to the idea. I don't want you if... softening him up for me. I'm not going to. I just think in the mood you're in... I'm not in a mood. I'm not having a tantrum over a few bad marks. I've actually thought about this. I know. But you and your dad are very alike. You're both so stubborn when you think you're right. I am right. If you want him on your side about this, there are ways and ways. I don't care whether he is or not. That's up to him. I just want it out in the open. I'm going to tell him now. Look, Pip, wait. I'll come with you. Please don't go yet. Hello? Hello. Matt! Yeah, glad I caught you in. What a lovely surprise. Yeah, I thought you'd be pleased with us. Well, I didn't expect to hear from you until this evening. Nothing's wrong, is it? No, no, it's my coffee break. They said I could call. <gasps> and I wanted to tell you the good news. Good news? What? Have you heard something from Russell? No. Why should I? Oh. Look, don't get your hopes up. I'm in for the duration. Yeah, I know that, really. But you said good news. Yeah, well, you, know, it is. It? you know, they've been quite happy with me working the greenhouses. Yeah, well, you do seem to be throwing yourself into it. You know, mate, if a thing's worth doing. Good for you, Tiger. And it's paid dividends. I've been recommended for enhanced status. Ooh. W what's that? It means I can get more visits one a week and a bit more money in my pocket. Oh, darling, that's brilliant. Oh, it'll be wonderful to be able to see you more often. Yeah, you too, but... You know, you're getting a bit of your old self back, aren't you? Oh, yeah, CEO of the old lags, that's me. Oh, I didn't mean... No, 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 you're right. I do feel a bit more like myself. Of course you do. You like to succeed. Yeah, even in the nick. <laughs> and especially good news about the visits, because Jenny said she'd like to come with me next time. Ah, uh, yeah. 
did she? Do, do you think you could get her a visiting order in time? Look, Puss, I'm sorry, but I don't want Jennifer coming to see me. Oh. No, I'm really happy I'll be seeing more of you, but that doesn't mean I want half the village here. <laughs> She's hardly half the village, darling. She's my sister. Yeah, and Brian Aldridge's wife. Well, why does that matter? Wasn't his idea. She wanted to give you her support. Well, that's very kind of her, and I appreciate it. Well, then why? <sighs> Do you remember what a shock it was for you when you first saw me in this place? Yeah. Well, I don't but... want Jennifer to see me like that. Well, Matt, I could prepare her. Oh, no, 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 you couldn't. Look, I don't want anyone else to see me like this, OK? Except you. Well, what shall I say to her? Uh, see, I have to find ways of keeping myself together in here. And one of them is to forget there's a world outside. You see me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't have to hide anything from you. Yeah, that should keep you going. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Pipsqueak. I wish you wouldn't call me that. Sorry? Have you uh, just come here to pick a fight with me? Or? I need to tell you something important before Mum gets here. Well, she's coming too? I think so, once she's finished her phone call. Oh, this is all a bit alarming. What's the big news? I'm not going back to college. Why? What's happened? Is it is it closing? Or has there been a swine flu outbreak? No, or what? I'm just not going back. I, I don't want to do my A levels. What? Oh now, Pitt, look. I know these exams are a bit daunting, but I thought you were over all that. I am. This has got nothing to do with exams. Well, then why? It's a waste of time. What? Getting good qualifications? No. A waste of time would be giving up on them for no reason at all. I've got reasons. I've been thinking about this for a long time, and then, well, when I saw Izzy yesterday... Oh, 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 this is Izzy's idea, is it? She put you up to it. Of course she didn't. It's my idea. I told you, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Hey, look, I know that Izzy has got money in her pocket now, and that must seem attractive, but in the future... Will you listen to me, please? It's nothing to do with money. Oh, what is the point of me trying to have an adult conversation with you about this when neither of you will listen to me? What, neither of us? You've told your mum. Yeah, and she was just as unreasonable as you are. Pip, but I asked you to wait for me. You knew about this? Oh, I see you've told him. the good it's done. How long have you known? Why does that matter? She told me last night. Last night? Why didn't you tell me? Well, you didn't get back till late, and you'd got milk in this yeah, morning. Yeah, I'd still like to have known. Our daughter's planning to ruin her life. Oh, David. I'm not. What I'm doing now is ruining it. The three of us need to talk about this. We certainly do. No, we don't. I'm not going back to college and nothing either of you can say is going to change my mind. Come in. Oh, hi, Mum. I wondered if you were ready to... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, is Jack asleep? Don't worry. Come in. You won't disturb him. Are you, um... Are you ready to go? Are I you... thought we might wait a little while, if that's all right with you. Yeah, of course. See if he wakes up. Has he been asleep long? <laughs> Quite a while, but I didn't mind. Gave me a chance to get on with these. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Good. I finished collating the information. And what's the verdict? It seems to be a very positive response so far. A lot of support for the idea in principle... And quite a lot of people willing to help. Good, that must be a weight of your mind. Mm, it is. I was just trying to work out the exact percentages. Oh, don't let me stop you. I'll, uh, I'll wait here and think. Oh, dear. Not very happy thoughts. Mixed. I had a phone call from Matt. Oh, not bad news, I hope. No, quite the opposite. He's, um... He's getting enhanced status. Means he can have more visits once a week. Oh, that'll be nice for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only I asked him if Jenny could come with me next week, and he said no. I see. He just doesn't want her to see him brought so low. Mm, that's it. Exactly. Yes. Well, I sympathise. You do? He brought this on himself, of course. But he's doing his best to cope with it, isn't he? Well, he's trying, yeah. So he needs to hang on to his dignity. 
Without that, well, you think you'll just go under. When your father was drinking, it was so shameful, so humiliating. I couldn't let people see what it was doing to me. Oh, Mum. Pride is supposed to be a deadly sin, but it's all that keeps you going sometimes. Maybe you should visit Matt. <laughs> no, dear. He's lucky he has you. And it sounds like that's all he needs. Well, I wish you'd told me, love, however late it was. I wanted a chance to talk to her, see if I could change her mind. Well, I gather you didn't. No. So the question is, what do we do now? Well, that's simple. Is it? We present a united front. And say? There is no question of her leaving college. We just won't let her. And how are we going to stop her? She thinks she's being reasonable. We can't ignore that. But she isn't. I mean, she's just in a panic about her work. No, that was a problem at first, but she's on top of it now. Well, what then? I mean, what is so awful about college all of a sudden? It's to do with her friends. There's something wrong with her social life. <laughs> you don't go to college for a social life. Of course you do. When she was talking about Izzy and her mates, she was so wistful. Yeah, I'm sure that Izzy is having a great time, but... Our daughter's life is in farming, and these days it's important to get an education. But that's exactly the problem. She knows what she wants to do, work with us on the farm, Yeah, but so... not yet. That's what you like when you're 16. You want everything to start tomorrow. <sighs> Look, she would be so much more used to us, and she'd get so much more out of it herself if she got some qualifications and had some experience of life first. I mean, can't she see that? No, clearly she can't. And that's what we've got to work on. I've got a plan. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, that's all right. No rush. Oh, Ian. Hi, Helen. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. What can I do for you? Uh, I uh, just wanted to check you got our usual order. Our emails have been playing up a bit. Yeah, yep, yeah, it came through okay. Good, good. You could just have rung. I was in Barchester anyway. I thought I'd pop in. Right. Ian, I owe you an apology. What, what for? Last time we met, I wasn't very nice to you. Well, it was understandable. In the circumstances. <laughs> the circumstances being that you were completely right about Leon, as you saw on Sunday night. Well, I wish I hadn't been. Do you? Didn't you get even the tiniest bit of satisfaction out of being proved right? Especially when I've been so horrible. No, not at all. I was just worried about you. Well, that's very kind, but there's no need. I'm fine. Come on, I mean, that really can't be true. Maybe not. But I don't want to talk about it. OK, fair enough. Well, what about a bit of distraction, then? Come out for lunch on New Year's Day. Oh, that's really kind of you, but... I'm not very good company at the moment. Well, you don't have to be. Can we just leave it? Yeah, of course, yeah. You just let me know when you're ready. Are you having anything different, Dan? I thought I'd have it swept up. Oh, yeah, show for those gorgeous earrings. Good idea. It's going to be quite some time before we get shampooed. Yeah, well, we can chat. How did you think Mum was yesterday? <laughs> Marvellous as ever. I don't know how she does it. Oh, no. She's so stoic and matter-of-fact about the whole miserable business. She even took some of Pat's questionnaires to look at while she was sitting with Jack. The community shop ones? Yeah, well, she isn't getting much response from Jack these days, is she? Oh, no. And you know, Mum never misses an opportunity to improve the shining hour. Brian wasn't really happy about Pat giving her those questionnaires. He thought the whole point of Mum getting rid of the village shop was to... Save her work, not create it. Yes, I will. Bye, Linda. Well, I think that went very well, don't you? I do. Positive response was very encouraging. Two thirds wanting to keep the shop open. I was expecting that. Oh, it's easy enough to say, but a third offering support and help, that's what impressed me. Yeah, it was good. Although offering is one thing, actually doing it. I know. But I do feel much happier about going ahead now. We can call a village meeting to elect a proper committee. 
Yes, we do seem to have a mandate. And the sooner we can get on with some real planning, the better. I was wondering about asking Cathy if she'd put herself forward, you know, with her retail experience. Oh, has she got the time? Nothing but at the moment. Kenton and Jim out on their bar crawl every night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you mean their field research? If that's what they like to call it. Oh, well, you know, they need to size up the opposition, see if there's a gap in the market, find out what works and what doesn't. And this involves visiting every bar in Borsetshire, does it? Apparently, yes. <laughs> Is Cathy getting very fed up? Just a bit. Well, ask her. Can't do any harm. Now, I really must be going. Ruth will be wondering where I am. Finished a bit later than I thought we would. Oh, we started later. By the time Linda had finished raving about Paris and passing round her new pictures of baby Oscar. <laughs> He is very cute, though, isn't he? Yeah. Why do they have to grow up? Here's another one for the charity shop. Are you sure? You wore that to college a lot, that's all. Shan't need it any more, then, shall I? But if you change your mind... I'm not going to. Can we just get on with this? No, we can't. Come on, Pip. Sit down. Please... I want to talk to you. Mum, it's not going to make any difference. Oh, maybe not. And if it doesn't, I promise I'll respect your decision. Then what is the point? I just want to show you things from a different perspective. Will you let me do that? All right, but I warn you, it's not going to change anything. Look, I know your first term hasn't worked out as you hoped it would. No, it hasn't. It's a big life change. It always takes time to adjust. This term might turn out to be different. Shouldn't you at least give it a chance? And waste more time? Why? You were so excited about going to college. Don't you remember? Yes, I do. Big mistake. And not just college. All your plans. Going on to university or agricultural college. We've been through this, Mum. I don't want to do that anymore. Why? I know it's not the work. You're on top of that now. What's disappointed you so much? Nothing. I don't believe you. You're not a quitter, Pip. Why don't you want to carry on? I've told you why. You haven't. I know you haven't. What's really the problem? I'm lonely. Oh, Pip. I thought I'd make all sorts of new friends, but the people I like, they just don't want to know. And I've tried, you know I have. Yeah. Everyone's got their clique, and I haven't. You've got your mates from Young Farmers, Jonathan. I know, and I like them, but that's just same old, same old, you know. Well, isn't working at Brookfield just going to be same old, same old? Maybe, but going into college... Sitting on my own in the library, in the cafeteria. I might as well be at home. Oh, Pip. So now you know. Pathetic, isn't it? Not at all. It's just part of growing up. Well, then it sucks. It does. But take it from one who's been through it. These cliques, they may not be quite as fixed as you think. They seem to be. It's a process. You spend your first term making friends and your second trying to get rid of them. Everyone's feeling their way. It doesn't look like that to me. But you see what I'm saying. Things change. If you go back this term, you might be surprised. And I might not. One term, Pip. Isn't it worth taking the risk? Look, I'll make a bargain with you. If you go back for this term and you're still unhappy at Easter, you can leave and we won't say any more about it. Really? Promise. We'll know you've tried and we'll support you. But even Dad? Yes. We are taking you seriously, Pep. Honestly. So do we have a deal? I'm bound to take longer than you. Don't feel you have to hang around and wait for me when you've finished. Oh, OK. In that case, there's something I need to speak to you about. Uh-huh. 
I thought we'd covered all the village gossip while we were waiting to be shampooed. Yeah, well, not this. The thing is, well, I've spoken to Matt now and I'm afraid he doesn't want you to come and visit. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Oh. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's up to him, of course. He was very touched you'd offered. Was he? Yeah, yeah. You didn't understand... I mean, it was meant in the spirit of friendship. I know, and, and he knows too. It's just, well, he's been brought so low by this, Jenny. I mean, if you saw him... Well, I wouldn't just... judge him. Not now. No, I know you wouldn't, but I think sympathy is as hard to take. He's a very proud man, and it's his pride that's keeping him going. Oh, I see. <sighs> I found it hard. Well, I know you have. But Mum helped me to see it differently. She said it was like when Dad was drinking and she couldn't bear anyone else to know. Oh, I remember that. There weren't many people I could bear to know the truth about Dad. I know. But Mum kept us together, didn't she? Oh, yes, she did. Like you do for Matt. <laughs> I try. You're doing a very good job. It meant a lot to me, Jenny, that you offered. Good. And if he ever changed his mind, well, the offer's still there. You think you might have got through to her? I hope so. It was a good sign she opened up to me at last. What about the friendship thing? I wondered if that might be the root of the problem. I honestly think that may change. <laughs> oh, hi, Pip. Do you want a cup of tea? No, thanks. I need to get on with my room. Hi, Dad. Oh, yeah. I hoped you'd be back. Did you? I wanted to tell you both at once. I've made my decision. Yeah? Oh, go on. I will go back to college this term. Oh, thank goodness for that. I'm so glad. But just this term. If I still feel the same way at Easter... That's understood. You can leave. Yes, because it's not any better by then. Well, it's never going to be, is it? No. Maybe I was rushing things a bit. I think this is the adult thing to do. We think so too, don't we, David? Oh, yes. Right. Well, better go and fish some of my college outfits out of the bin bags. <laughs> Good idea. See you later. See ya. Oh, what a relief. Is it? Oh, David, come on. Of course it is. No, sorry, love. You've done brilliantly to get her to agree to this. I think she saw the sense of it. Yeah, and it's brought us some breathing space, but what are we going to do if she still wants to leave at Easter? Let her. We've promised. We've just got to hope it doesn't come to that. So we're thinking of asking Oliver if he'd put himself up for the committee. Well, that's a good idea. Do you think he'd be interested? Yeah. He's got more spare time now. He can't go hunting all the time. Oh, well, if it stopped him doing that. <laughs> Would you be interested? Me? Marketing, retail, you fit the bill. But if you're asking Brenda and Cathy... Oh, I thought maybe you could do with a new project at the moment. I want to take my mind off being dumped by Leon. You weren't dumped. You were deceived. That's what it felt like. Man was a rat. Better off without him. I know. But... I... Yeah? I don't feel ready to talk about it, Mum. I understand. But when you do... You can join the queue of people ready to lend me a sympathetic ear and bitch about Leon. He deserves it. Well, Annette agrees with you. She seems more bitter about him than even I am. She's a loyal little thing. She's still making a fuss of you. Mm. Along with everyone else. Ian even came in today. Did he? What did he want? To take me out to lunch on New Year's Day. How kind is that? I hope you said yes. No. Oh, Helen, it might have cheered you up. I'm not ready to be cheered up, Mum. Not just yet. Home farm, Jennifer Aldridge speaking. Hi, Mum. Happy New Year. <laughs> Kate, what a lovely surprise. I didn't expect you to ring so early. Well, you said you were going out and we're having a braai here, so I wanted to ring before. A what? Oh, yeah, yeah, a barbecue. Oh, I wish you could be here, Mum. The car 
garden's lovely at the moment and it's so warm. Oh, oh, well, I wish I could too, but actually I'm quite looking forward to my ball. Oh, don't let me hold you up, Cinderella. No, no you're not. And I'll round up the rest of the family and you can talk to them while I change mm. and then we can have a chat. Evening, Fallon. Hey. Aren't you the wrong side of the bar? Uh, Mum's given me the night off. Oh. Hi, Brenda. Hi. That's good news. <laughs> you didn't fancy hitting the town, then? Well, why? All my friends are coming here. Yeah. Ed and Emma are just parking the car. Ah, right. And here comes one of your regulars. <laughs> Evening, Jazza. He's not a regular. He's a lodger. <laughs> If Mum and Sid ever sell up, they'll have to include him as part of the fixtures and fittings. What's <laughs> <laughs> the joke? I was just saying how you've given up on your mystery woman. Oh, have you? You're devoting your life to football and beer, isn't that right? Got it in one. And since there's no football in the night, what's everybody drinking? You can go over to the bull, you know. I don't mind. Only if you'll come with me. Well, I'm not in the mood. It doesn't have to stop you. Yes, it does. I'm not leaving you on your own on New Year's Eve. You've hardly left me on my own this week at all. Don't you want to break? <laughs> Why would I? Well, you're out a lot before Christmas. Yeah, well, uh, things have changed. And for me. But, Annette, were you seeing someone? No. No, of course not. You can tell me. Uh, nothing to tell. Ah, you don't want to talk about it either. Uh, Nothing to talk about. I was just a bit restless, that's all. OK. But now you're around more. Yeah, moping and moaning. What an attractive prospect. You don't moan and you're entitled to a bit of moping after what he did. But we're not going to talk about Leon. That's our New Year's resolution. <laughs> Is it? It's mine. You can join in if you like. We're going to move on and enjoy ourselves. All right. If you don't fancy the bull, we could go into Borchester. Oh, no, and I, really, I, I just want a quiet night in. Uh, it doesn't have to be here. If you want to go and see your mum and dad, don't feel I have to tag along. Well, then I'd be leaving you all on your own on New Year's Eve. Well, I don't mind. Well, I do. So let's see the New Year in together. Funny you should say that, because hidden behind this cushion, I just happen to have... Voila! Two <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> Oh. And behind this one, a nice box of chocolates. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and a couple of bottles of wine in the fridge. Right. In that case, what are we waiting for? Great, Ed. We'll be over in a minute. We don't have to go and sit with them, do we? What's wrong with that? We haven't said hello to Emma yet. <laughs> ah, you go if you like. Count me up. Why? What's Ed done to you? What's he done? You know, I've been listening for the past three years while I went on and on about that miracle cow ahead. But he's just pleased that she's recovered. No, it's sweet he's got so worried about her. She's a cow, Fallon. <laughs> yeah, and a very valuable animal. It's a big thing for Ed taking over that tenancy. It's going to be a good year for Ed and Emma. No wonder he's excited. Excited? Ed Grundy was the terror of three counties. It's like the times we've had together. Yeah, we remember. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Life in the fast lane. <laughs> I knew he's excited because one of his coos can stun up. <laughs> and you're a milkman. We all change. Yeah. You know that much. He's never been the same man since he took up with that Emma. Oh, of course. It must be the woman's fault. <laughs> I didn't say that. She's just doing what comes naturally. But when a man lets his cell get tied down, well, that's the beginning of the uh, end. Honestly, Jazzer, just because you've given up on your woman... I need to hear more about this. No, you don't. There's no need to take it out on poor Emma. I thought you... Brenda. Like... What's this? But do you know something that I don't know? Yeah. I know that guy at the end of the bar has been giving you the eye for the last half hour. Why don't you make his night and go and talk to him? Poor Gran. I'll try and give her a ring tomorrow. Oh, well, I know she'd love that. It's her first wedding anniversary with Jack in the home. It's, it's bound to be tough. I can give her some good news. Mm? Maybe that'll help take her mind off it. Good news. If it's all right with you, I'd like to come over to Ambridge for a holiday. Oh, oh darling, of course it's all right. When? In March. Oh, Kate, that'd be that'd be absolutely wonderful. Just me and Sipo, so we shouldn't disrupt things too much. Well, you can disrupt things as much as you like. Oh, Mum will be so pleased. She's never seen Sipo. Well, neither has Phoebe, and I've never seen Abby, so... No, no, of course not. I mean, she wasn't born last time he came. Or even thought of. It's been a long time, Mum. Oh, I know. Oh, that is so wonderful. <laughs> the only thing is... Oh, what? Why... If it's a busy time at the farm, I'm sure we could no, find no, somewhere No, 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 no. Don't be silly. You must stay here. Of course you must. But 
Hey, couldn't you all come over? Nolly as well? Oh, it's term time. I really don't want to take her out of school. Not for a month. A month? Oh, what a treat. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Well, couldn't you just wait till Easter and then it would be Nolly's school holidays? I've got work commitments in April, Mum, and I don't oh. want to wait. Oh. <laughs> I want to see Phoebe. I miss her so much. Yes. Especially since she started secondary wow. school. Wow, there she is growing up. And I'm not seeing it. And she's so full of it. Wants me to see her in a new school uniform, meet her new friends. <laughs> yes, of course. And then at Christmas she started the emotional blackmail. Oh? The best Christmas present you could give me oh. would be to see you, Oh, mommy. she is a <laughs> clever little thing. Oh, darling, what a happy new year this is going to be for all of us. <laughs> All together now. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, I should never have let you talk me into this. Oh, there's nothing like tequila for taking your mind off things. <sighs> Who's for another? Well, if it takes your mind off staring at that bloke. Yeah, if you don't stop, he's going to come over and sort you out. <laughs> Honestly, Jazzo, just because you haven't got the bottle to ask her out. What? Brenda. Oh, I see. Cheers, mate. It just slipped out. And I did it. The last time I trust you with the secrets in my heart. I'm getting a drink. Oh, Bren. That wasn't very tactful. Well, I don't care. At least I got rid of him for a bit. We're supposed to be seeing the new year in together, remember? Kissing in the snow? I mean... How corny is that? <laughs> You'd have to give me something a bit more exciting than a new diary to get me interested. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't last five minutes together in real life. They'd never have got together in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unbelievable. Absolutely. Let's watch the next one. <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> Go on, have another chocolate. Uh, in a bit, thanks. Ah, oh, mm, this is a life, isn't yeah. it? It certainly is. Who needs men? Uh, no one. Now we can change wheels and put up shelves ourselves. They're completely redundant. Well, I never even found one who could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Susan's giving me the day off tomorrow. That's kind of her. Well, she's only opening in the morning and she was in a good mood. She saw this job in the Echo that might suit her. Well, Ambridge Organics is closed. Great! We could carry on celebrating the single life. Suits me. Oh, and it'll be a good excuse. Well, what for? Ian asked me out to lunch and I told him I'd think about it. But, you know, if we're doing something... Oh, no, and... no, 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 you go. I'm not sure I want to. After what happened? No, you must. You were such good friends before Leon came along. Now things can start getting back to normal. I mean, look at him. Oh, lovey dovey. Does it not make you sick? No, it doesn't. Jazza, will you give it a rest? How can I? She's the love of my life. And I know I've lost her. Forever. You never had her. That's right. You kick a bloke when he's done. Oh. You never had her because you've never asked her out. And you won't know what she feels about you until you do. Just go for it. Yeah, why don't you? What? You think I stand a chance, oh, eh? I don't know, but at least you might shut up about it. Give it a go, mate. What have you got to lose? Everything. No, no. It's too late. I've lost her. 2010 is going to be the most miserable year in my life. Yeah, it's going to be the most miserable of mine and too, tonight, having to go by. I never needed anyone. Oh, dear God. I'll make Those it up to you. Are gone. You da, 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 all by myself. I'll be all by Oh, it's chilly out here. Oh, well, I thought it'd be nice to see the fireworks. But if you want to go in... Oh, no, no. Doesn't the village look beautiful? All lit up. Yeah, it does. I'm so glad I live here now. I'm glad you live here too. Oh, happy new year, Helen. Happy new year, Annette. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, Bren. Happy New Year, Tom. Oh, well, that's a good start. I told you I'd make it up to you. Yeah, I don't get a look in, no. Happy New Year, Jazzo. <laughs> mm.
Happy New Year, mate. Come here. Uh, so what's the plan? Back to your gaff for a few more bevies, then, eh? Well, that sounds good to me. What? You better go and visit the gents, eh? Is that what you mean by making it up to me? Boozing till dawn with Jazzer? He's going to pass out soon. I know the signs. And then we can really start to celebrate the new year. (laughs) (laughs) Fallon! Fallon, wake up! It's me, Jazzer! I just called to say Shut I love up. you. Shh, wake up, Mum, and say it. Thought you were staying with Tom. I couldn't sleep. I had to tell you. Tell me what? Won't it keep until the morning? No, it won't. I love you, Fallon. I, I love you. What? Chazzo, you're drunk. Go back to Tom's. And- I mean, I mean, you're the mystery woman. Fleurs. Lemo, it was all for you. Because I love you. Keep your voice down. I had to tell you. I can't stand another year without you. So, well, no, you know, did I stand a chance? We can't talk about this now in the middle of the night. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow? You promise? Yes, yes, now go back to Tom's. You're not angry with me, eh? I had to tell no, you. will be if you don't go now. Good night, Jazzo. Uh, good night, good night. Well, I could go on saying good night till well, tomorrow, I suppose. <laughs> Fallon! Fall, Fallon! What is it now? Happy New Year! It's very kind of you to give me a lift. I know, it's a special day for you. Our 19th wedding anniversary. Mm. It's still kind. I imagine you had rather a late night. I had to get up to do the pigs anyway. I gather a good time was had by all at the bull last night. Oh yes, it certainly was. Brenda's still asleep. Sensible girl. We had rather a disturbed night, actually. You should drink a glass of water before you go to bed. (laughs) No, it wasn't that. Jazza seemed rather restless. I was sure I heard him get up and go out at one point. Oh dear. Hope he wasn't trying to find his way home. He didn't seem to come to any harm anyway. When I checked on him this morning, he was fast asleep with a great big grin on his face. (laughs) Pleasant dreams. Must have been. (laughs) How is Brenda's job hunt going? Oh, a bit better. She saw an office manager's job in the Echo yesterday. Oh, that sounds promising. Only she's heard Susan's thinking of applying for it too. I'm sure a lot of people will be. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear Susan's still looking for a full-time job. I still hope there'll be a role for her in the community shop. I wouldn't worry, Gran. Oh, but I do. If she was working full-time, she couldn't run the post office. And that could really be a disaster for the village. I meant, if it did come to a choice between her and Brenda, well, obviously Brenda would get in. You think so? Yeah, she's young and she's got a degree, and Susan hasn't actually run an office, has she? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So you can stop worrying, Gran. Hello, Helen. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to you. I hope I haven't woken you. No, no, no. I've just nipped up to Grey Gables, actually, just to make sure the lads can do without me for the day. (laughs) You are still free, then? Yeah, 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 and we're very much hoping to have lunch with you. It's a bit short notice. That's that's OK. Well, I mean, if that, if that means you'll come. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, hello. You're alive, then? Just a bit. I wish I was dead. Oh, come on, that's no way to start the new year, is it? You don't know the half yet. I take it Brenda's still asleep. I haven't you seen her. I don't want to see MD. What were you doing last night? All that wandering about. Oh, that was real then. I thought I heard you go out, yeah. I was hoping I dreamt that. Why? What did you do? You don't want to know. I do. Come on, confession's good for the soul. I've ruined everything and it's all your fault. My fault? You told me to tell Fallon I loved her. Oh, now, I don't think I went quite that far. 
I said you could ask her out. And I did. And it was a terrible mistake, and it's all your fault. You asked her out? You know, listening. I tell her I loved her. You told her you loved her? When? Last night. Last night when? Oh, no, not after we went to bed. Is that what you went out for? Well, you said I should. Not in the middle of the night. You got me all fired up, so I went out and threw stones at her window. Jazza! And, and when she opened the window, I tell her I loved her. What did you want to go and do that for? You tell me to stop denying it. You said I should go for it. Not at two o'clock in the morning when you were blind drunk. That's hardly romantic. No, you tell me. How can you have been such an idiot? What did she say? She says you didn't know what to talk about it. I'm not surprised. Who did you think you were, Romeo and Juliet? OK, OK. What are you going to do? I don't know. How did she leave it? She said we could talk about it the day. Did she? That sounds promising. Promising? Don't you think? Promising that you'd after something. She was just trying to get rid of me. She could have said she never wanted to see you again. If you ask her properly today, then... I can't see her. I'll never be able to look her in the eye again. Don't be silly. This is your opportunity. Now you've broken the ice. Broken the ice? At least now she knows you're interested. She knows I'm a dafty. It won't be so hard for you to ask her. You're your mind. I'll never be able to speak to her again. I've really blown it this time. There's always such a good choice here. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favourite places. I'm a big fan of tapas. Well, it's popular. You were lucky to get a table. Yeah, I booked quite early in the week. Before I said I'd come. <laughs> well, I hoped you would. I'm glad you did. Oh, I'm glad to. So, were you very busy at Grey Gables last night? No, not quite as busy as we'd hoped, to be honest with you. I suppose that's always the problem at New Year's Eve. We're all competing for the same people. Yeah. We need to do better. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Oliver will come up with all sorts of good ideas for you now he's getting more involved. I'm sure he will. Anyway, um, how was your New Year's Eve? Not too terrible, I hope. No, not at all. Surprisingly good, actually. Yeah, I'm pleased to hear it. What did you do? Mm-hmm. That's going to sound very dull. I like dull. <laughs> Annette and I just stayed in, watched a couple of silly rom-coms, ate chocolate and ice cream and went outside to hear the bell ringers ringing in the new year. Perfect. Well, it was fun. All Annette's idea. Oh, she's been so sweet to me. She's got a big heart, that wee girl. Yeah, she has. And, well, a big mouth to go with it, but... Oh, she talks then <laughs> sometimes. She's the one who persuaded me I should come out with you. Hi, Fallon. Hi, Tom. Back at work, then. Oh, well, Mum and Sid deserve a bit of a rest after last night. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they need it. Mm -hmm. And we're hardly busy. What can I get you? Just an orange juice, thanks. Oh, New Year's resolution? Are you on the wagon? No, no, I'm driving. On my way to pick up Gran. Oh, I see. So, did you have a good night? You seem to be getting on very well with that guy who was chatting you up. Oh, yeah, yeah he was a laugh. Seeing him again? Oh, I doubt it. Hmm. Here you are. Ah, oh, thanks. Mm. That should be right. Oh, great, thanks. Um, Jazza stayed the night with you, didn't he? Yeah. I thought so. Most of it, anyway. Didn't he get back? I mean, um, uh, wasn't he there when you woke up? Oh, yeah, he was there. Oh, good. I mean, it's good of you to give him a bed for the night. Well, a sofa... Mm. And I'm not sure he was on it that much. Up and down to the loo? Paying a few calls round the village, apparently. Oh. Well, you know. Well, I know you were one of the lucky recipients. He told you? I wasn't sure he'd remember. Oh, he does. Every excruciating <sighs> detail. God, he's not the only one. I was mortified. I can imagine. Where is he now? Is he still at yours? No, he's gone back to Medarai's. It was awful. Such a shock. Was it? Of course. But it, it's not as if he meant it, is it? Meant what? All that rubbish about being in love with me. He was just drunk, wasn't he? Oh, he was drunk. Yeah. But he did mean it. No. How do you know? He told me. Before. You are his mystery woman. Oh, no. Didn't he tell you? Well, I just hoped that he was drunk. Com confused. No, not confused at all. It's always been you, right from the start. Oh, Tom. What am I going to do? Hello. 
This is delicious. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? Oh, lovely. What a treat this is. Yeah, yeah, for me too. I'm afraid I don't bother much with cooking at home for myself at the moment. No? No. Well, with Adam Lamb and there doesn't seem to be much point. I just make him lots of nice warming soups and casseroles he can heat up. Mm, lucky Adam. Yeah, that's the least I can do. And they disappear, so <laughs> he must like them. You don't see him eat them? No, I don't see him, full stop. I mean, I might as well be single again. Yeah. Oh, Helen. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean don't to... Don't be silly. There's nothing to apologise for. You've been amazingly tactful. Never brought up Leon's name once. Well, I didn't imagine you'd want to talk about him. Hmm. Not even to say I told you so. I should have listened to no, you. You don't need to keep saying that. I'm not surprised you didn't. Because I'm such a fool? No, because no one in that situation ever does. I mean, I never did. I can't believe there have been many Leons in your life. You're far too sensible. I wish I was. I mean, I had to kiss a lot of frogs before I found my prince. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, a lot. And most of them were only too ready to hop off with any good-looking toad that came their way without <laughs> so much as croaking goodbye. Oh, you're just saying that to make me feel better. Yeah, I wish it was true. I mean, OK, there was this guy back home. I will, dear. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. Oh, sorry I'm late, Gran. I got a bit held up. That's all right, dear. I was talking to Jennifer. She's got some good news. Oh, yeah? Kate's going to come over in March, and she's bringing Sipo. Oh, great. It's been ages since she's been back. Yes, and I've never even seen the little one. <laughs> How exciting. And Jennifer says we must go out for a meal to celebrate. Well, that and my wedding anniversary. <laughs> Sounds like a good pun to me. Yes. It's a pity, Jack. Oh, well... Did he? No, he didn't remember. I didn't really think he would. We had a lovely morning, though. Hmm. Well, you'll have to celebrate for him. Nineteen years. What an achievement. Do you think so? It doesn't seem very long to me. <laughs> oh, all right, you've convinced me. You have been just as much an idiot as me. <laughs> if not more. But <laughs> that doesn't matter now, because Adam was waiting for me at the end of it. Oh, you were very lucky. Yeah, very. But you know what they say, you make your own luck. Which means? Don't let one roving Aussie put you off men for life. Okay, just steer clear of Australians. <laughs> I shall. <laughs> no more waltzing Matilda for me. Oh, I might agree with you if he'd been my only disaster, but he wasn't. Well, look at my long list. Half of which you made up, I'm <laughs> sure. That's not the point. You and Adam, you're, you're so good together. Yeah, well, we've had our ups and downs. Of course, but it comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Being in a relationship. Yeah, well, after a lot of practice. Never does to me. <laughs> my job, my family, my friends, I can do that. But when it comes to men... It's just not my area of expertise. Well, that's a rather cold way of looking at it. It's accurate. Ross and, and Leon? I'd never make that kind of mistake at work. Yeah, but when you fall in love... But I have. I loved Greg. I couldn't save him. That wasn't your fault. It's a pattern. I'm just not good at this. It, it's not in my stars. But you, you can't say that. I mean, you don't know what the future holds. I know what makes me happy now. And it looks like it's staying in with Annette and watching TV. Best New Year's Eve I've had in years, and not a man in sight. Oh, Helen. Look, of course you're going to feel like that. But look, things will change. I'm not sure they will. I think I'd better start getting used to being single. 